Yeah, found it. Uh, the chain that comes with it is semi-chisel, and you know how I feel about that. Now here's a brand new Power Cut LGX. This is the same same chain I run on my 346 Johnson Red. Full chisel. me I should have left my tripod out there we gonna get started unit <laughs> yeah, my floor is getting clean over there finally <laughs> as there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve chainsaws sitting there yeah i know i got a problem those are all mine too i need to i need to hunt me down some of those pretty soon comes in, in a few days I don't even know where I'm gonna hunt yet. I know I'm on vacation, so whatever. Fuel. 
little bit left in this. Very little bit. Ooh, there was more in there. Just there a lot. Almost the tank. Freaking rain. So it's 125 or 105 exhaust, 125 on the primary, 130 on the secondary, 78 exhaust or intake. You can't go crazy to transfer. You can't raise them like I'd want to run it. I like to throw some like 346 numbers in it, but. You ain't racing that primary that far without something goofy happening. 
So already it's such a steep angle. Way, way too steep. The primary is flat. And I can raise this a bunch. Then you got a big stagger. I don't know. We'll see how it runs. I've seen, I've, I like Charles Briscoe. He runs longer blow down in some of them and they run really good, so. I mean, I'd like to do it like a 346, but you just, you just can't do it. So, we're running 20, 20 and 25 blow down. Whatever. It's not the end all. It's not the end all of a saw build. If you gotta build them where you gotta build them. This is a pretty sweet little saw boiling like crazy. I'm gonna start back up.